Hello fellow beaters! Today I'm going to show you how to make this earring, which I'm calling Fan Dance. It uses Albion Stitch. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but um, this is the first thing I've made using it. It's a little bit different than any other stitch I've used before, so it's kind of interesting. So I thought I'd show you how to make this earring. Alright, let's get started. What you're going to need for this project, it's pretty, um, pretty simple actually. Let me back out here a little bit. You're going to need two colors of 110 seed beads and I am using, um, it's kind of a long name, but this one is Silver Lined Matte Gray Light Aqua and the second one is Matte Transparent Rose Gold. And then in addition you're going to need some um, three millimeter fire polish beads and these are azurite halo. You're also going to need two eight millimeter round beads and then you're going to need um, an ear wire and a jump ring and then of course you'll need a beading needle and thread and I'm using uh, beading needle size 11 and um, six pound fire line. So let's get started. I didn't mention this, but you're not going to need an, a lot of thread for um, these earrings. Uh, I would say one arm span will probably do, um, uh, or a double arm span will more than be enough for for doing uh, two earrings or just a single arm span will work for each. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is take your eight millimeter and bring it down to the end, not quite the end of your beading thread. Um, leave about a four to six inch tail and if you want you can put a stop bead in there. And then you're going to take and you're going to pick up uh, 11 seed beads. Okay, and once you've got your 11 seed beads, then you're going to bring them down to and you're going to go through, back through your 8 millimeter like this, and then pull tight. And that's what you'll have. And then you need to repeat that again and that will be, um, you'll go back through again and that will give you a circle of beads all the way around. Okay, so here I have my second, um, my second 11 beads. So I'm going to hold on to my eight millimeter and now I'm going to go through the eight millimeter again. And this is what you end up with. At this point, you need to turn these two half circles into a nice firm um, single circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up through all the beads all the way around. So when you get to where um, the two half circles are, you're going to just keep going around. Okay, and then once you've done that, you're going to go around until you end up back over. You're going to go around again until you end up where your tail thread is coming out. Okay, so at this point, this is what you have. You have um, your eight millimeter completely encircled, and you have your tail thread and your working thread coming out at the same spot. And then you can um, tie a knot. 
Okay, so there you go. And at any point now, you can um, take that uh, tail and uh, weave it back in. I'm going to use mine for a little bit to kind of hang on to while I work. All right, so now we're going to begin our our first round. Um, and with Albion Stitch, you create what are called stalks, S-T-A-L-K-S, -S, and then you have a stock row and then you have a connector row. Um, so first thing we're going to do is make a stock row. So I'm going to pick up um, fire polish, one fire polish, and one of my gold beads. And then I'm going to bring them all the way down so that they are touching the bead. Now you, what you're going to do is you're going to um, go back through, but you're going to skip this gold bead and you're just going to go through the fire polish bead. And now that I've got it through there, I want you to look, you see where the, um, the thread is coming out? Okay, you're going to go through actually the bead before that, and that's where you're going to kind of encircle the bead. And then you're going to go through the next bead. So you're actually going to be going through two beads. And then Pull it tight. And this is what you'll have. Okay, so that's your first stock. Now you're going to repeat that. So you're going to pick up another fire polish and another gold bead. Bring them all the way down so that they're resting against the row of beads that are around the 8 millimeter. And then once again, you're going to go down through your just the fire polish, and then you're going to go around the first, you're going to go th back through um, the bead you just came out of down here on the base, and through the next bead, like that and pull it tight. All right, now you have two stalks. Now I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to pick up a um, fire polish and an 11-0. Bring them down your needle till they're touching the base, the base row. I lost my 11-0. Okay, I'm going to bring that down. And then once again, I am going to skip the gold bead and go back through the fire polish. And then, oh, I got turned around. Then I'm going to go through the first side of that bead. Now this time you're going to do something a little different. We're going to put these stalks all around half of um, this 8 seed bead. But you're going to put nine, nine stalks on and there are 11 holes. So you're going to skip two holes. And the reason for doing that is that um, it'll be too crowded if you... Um, if you try and put 11 in. So after the third bead and after the sixth bead, you're actually going to skip a bead. So I'm going to go through now the bead I've just worked on and then the bead I skip and then I'm going to also go through the next bead that I'm going to use. Okay, so this is what I have now. So go ahead and finish the row. Remember to skip a bead after your third and after your sixth bead. And then go ahead and put on nine. And when you're done with that, we'll, um, we'll start the next row. Okay, once you've finished your nine stalks, this is what it's going to look like. 
Um, they may look a little wobbly. I'm sure that they they are kind of wobbly, so they may kind of bend this way and that way. And don't worry about that because once we get them all connected, then uh, that will straighten itself out. Um, I want to mention a couple of things about the beads. Uh, I would recommend using Japanese seed beads for this um, rather than the the check beads um, because you need them fairly uniform for doing this. Uh, they don't have to be perfect, but you know, pretty pretty uniform. Um, and the Japanese seed beads do tend to be more uniform. I also wanted to mention something about the fire polish beads. Um, you see this on my mat here. <laughs> I've picked up most of it, but here's a couple stray bits. Uh, if you're using, like I am, a coated fire polish bead, they um, tend to have these little flecks. Maybe I can show you on one. Get a couple of them down here. You see on the end here, all those little, little bits? Um, that's the coating. And it can make it a little hard to get into the fire polish bead, uh, but I, I, it's worth it. You just have to be, pers you know, really persevere a little bit and um, push your way through, but like that. But um, and then those little flecks often will just kind of fall off, and and you'll find them hanging out on your bead mat. So just kind of push your way through if that happens to you. The coating should, um, should not be a problem to get through for your needle. All right, now on to the next row. So in this next row, what we're going to be doing is connecting these stalks together. So turn your work over and get it situated uh, facing a way that works for you. And now what we're going to do, I'm coming out right, right here is I'm going to go back up through this fire polish bead. And then I'm going to go through the 11 seed bead. Okay, now for this entire row, all you're going to do is put, pick up one of um, the 11 O's to match whatever you have on um, the end of your previous this previous row and you're just going to go from one of those end beads to the next. And that's all there is to it. This is always a, a very easy row. Alright, so do that all the way across and then meet back up with me when you get over here. Once you finish this row, this is what you'll have. Um, and you can see that the, uh, the previous, the stalks from the previous row um, all straighten out pretty well after this row. So what we're going to do next is we're going to make another row with, um, with stalks. So what we're going to do is we can just, we're coming out of this, um, this last gold bead on the end. We just start making our next row right from here. And for this row, we're going to pick up two of your second color of 11 O seed beads. These are my, my aqua ones. And again, one of the gold seed beads. And again, you're going to bring those down to the end so that you have this. And again, you're going to skip this top gold bead and you're going to just go through the two turquoise beads. And then you're going to go back through the um, gold bead in the base row and then you're going to go through the next gold bead and come through the one after that which is the next whoops the next one that you will be creating a stock on pull it tight now with doing this um, once you start um, on this row, it will 
kind of pull tight the beads from the previous row. Okay, so that's what you have after the first one. I'll do a, a second one here. Picking up two of the aqua and one of the gold beads. Bring them down. And then go back down through, skip the gold bead, and go back down through the two aqua beads and through through the base bead, the next bead, and then come out um, the third one. Okay, and um, again, don't worry that these are kind of hanging off to the side. That'll all get straightened out in the next row. So continue doing that um, all the way across until you are coming out with this last bead over here. Okay, here we are at the end of this row. So now we have another set of stocks, and you'll notice again they're kind of going all over the place, um, which is not a problem. Sometimes I kind of pull on them a little bit to straighten them out, but I don't worry about it a whole lot. All right, so now we're going to um, do the last row, and once again we need to get up to the top um, of the previous row. So we're just going to stick our needle in here and go up and then through the bead at the top of the stock like that. So now we're in position. I'm going to um, bring this out just a little bit. And for this row, let me show you on the example. We're just going to be putting more of the three millimeter fire polish beads um, between each of the stops. Okay, so here's a bead, fire polish bead, and I'm just going to go through the next bead on the tip of the next stock and pull tight. And repeat. Okay, do that all the way across. After you finish that row, this is what you'll have. Now it's very important at this point to um, do some reinforcing because this is uh, pretty wobbly. I don't know if you can see it very well, but you want it to be a little bit stiffer. So what you need to do is go back down. You're going to make kind of a circle here. You're going to go back down through um, this this side back down to the previous round and then you're going to weave your way just through this this entire row here This also helps to straighten the beads in the row. After you've finished reinforcing that row, then go up um, the outside stock on the upper row. And then do the same thing. Just weave your way across this row. It doesn't seem like much, but this really does help to flatten and straighten the earring and uh, give it more of a, a, a stronger shape. Um, so now what we're going to do is we just, and the only thing we have left is to put the, um, the hanger up at the top for the ear wire. So we're going to just weave our way up there. We'll go down through 
the end stock on the top row and then we'll go down through um, the fire polish bead in the next row pull it all tight and now what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, weave our way up to the top here so if you remember there are 11 beads so we're going to go through six of them okay so now you're going to pick up four Of the gold 11 O's and all you're going to do is then go back I need to turn this over and all you need to do then is um, go back through I just want to double check one two three four five six okay I had it right the first time you're going to go back through Go back through this top bead and this is what you'll have. I'm going to back out just a little bit here so you can see more of the earring as I'm working with it. All right now we're going to go up through this again. We're going to go through one bead and then we're going to pick up another gold bead go through the next bead pull it tight pick up another gold bead go through the next bead pull it tight pick up another gold bead and now we are going to go down through the last bead and then down through um, the beads in the top circle. Okay, pull it tight, square it up a little bit, and there you are, you're done. Um, so all you need to do now is, is put some knots in and tie this off, and then add your, um, your jump ring and ear wire at the top, and you'll have your fan dance earring. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. I enjoyed making it and I'll see you again next time. Um, next up I'm going to do some sculptural peyote bracelets that I'm going to share with you. More of a uh, an intermediate level project whereas this is a, a pretty much a beginner project. But not pretty fast and easy but I thought it might be interesting to uh, show you something a little different than what I've been doing lately in my videos. So hopefully I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.